tell you what, Lee, your truck, driving Palm Creek, you done such an awesome job to do that in one go, really. Yeah, it felt so good. I was so pumped and getting to the top there, amazing. Well, I'll tell you what, the trucks are all doing really, really well, but the biggest challenge is ahead, and that's gunshot. Yeah, look, I have heard a lot of stories. I have also seen a bit of footage, and uh, I've got to say, I was a little bit worried going into this one. The old telly track isn't just about low range, river crossings and ruts. There are also some spectacular views along the way, especially when the countryside just opens up like this. the telly track is the old telephone pole. We're just waiting for Alicia's car to cool down a bit, it's got a bit hot. And we just found one of these just on the side of the track. Now there's a lot through here, but a lot of them aren't in the condition they used to be. People have bent them over and pulled them out. But this one is complete with its tie ropes down and everything. You can actually see where it's gone through the tree just here as well. But it's good to still see that there's some around here. It pays to remember how low your tire pressures are though. Even though you can get a bit of speed up along this part of the track. Hey, Rico. Alright, so what we've got here is a bit of a hole in the sidewall. The tyres are just not up to the task, but we knew that before we came. So we made sure we have one of these, which is a plug kit, tyre repair kit. So what we're going to do is put one of these bad boys into here, jam it in, pull it back out, plug stays behind, hopefully fills the hole, holds there, we'll be on our way. A tyre repair kit is a must have on a track like this. Normally, we just swap the spare, and especially for a sidewall puncture like this one. But yours truly here didn't check the spare before we left, and the valve is stuffed so it won't hold air. A sidewall repair is going to have to do to get us to camp tonight. So, what I'm going to do here is borrow Alicia's TJM Connect system. This is really, really cool. So, all I'm going to do is press this one. Got it set to my PSI. Start. Away we go. Infamous Gunshot Creek. I think this is worthy of a closer inspection. Alrighty. Uh, oh dear. Oh, you'll drive that. Oh yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> you got a chance. He was to get so confident here, before, mate. Rick. What's changed? Uh, everything. <laughs> Our high-flying uh, producers probably uh, sending us another message here. All right. So what he's saying. We have, the camp is on the other side over here. We have to go down the second whatever thing shoot from the creek. So second. Oh, that's this one. That's the little one. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm thinking not. <laughs> yeah, I think you sort of run out of track of the... <laughs> that's vertical. Well, can we use the, um, the Tough Dog Recovery Vehicle? Well, they didn't say we can't, so I say we do. Hey, that's not bad. That's good. That was good. <laughs> He's as happy as a pig in mud. <laughs> All right, so, so you reckon winch down would be better? Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with that. Who wants to go first? Not me. I'm happy. I'll do it. <laughs> Whatever suits. Rock, paper, scissors. Ready? No, nah, you, 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 you guys do that. Do that. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Let's shoot. You're up, sport. You know, not too much phases me in a four-wheel drive these days. I've been around for a while and I've done lots of silly stuff. But this is right up there. This is right up there. I've definitely got some butterflies in the stomach. We're going to use the recovery car as our anchor. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to be on the winch and it's going to let me down as I need to go down. Instead of me falling and maybe getting a lever reaction, it's going to hold me back. And then I'm going to slide down and off I go. 
Hopefully, it's going to be as easy as that. Fingers crossed. What could possibly go wrong, eh? All right, is everybody ready? The top top recovery vehicle is ready. All right, guys, here we go. Left hand, left hand down, mate. All right, we're going down, boys. Hold on to the right. We got down there, Matt. Do you want to hear about our next or bus challenge? The Simpson Desert, a place that every four driver dreams of crossing. It's a rite of passage, a box that must be ticked, a bucket list adventure. But for our team, crossing the Simo by a normal four wheel drive? Nah, that'd be too easy. This year, our crew are taking it on or bus style. Back in the 1960s, Red Sprig, along with his wife and two young kids, took on the desert in a G60 patrol. Our crew have been given the task of crossing it in another vehicle that was available in 1962. Jamie and Jess have chosen a stunning Series 2 Landy that's proven itself across the desert multiple times. Borgie and Leash are doing it the hard way in a 1943 Chevy Blitz. Will they get their rigs finished in time to leave for the desert? Will all our hosts make it to the desert? And will they all make it across the desert? I'm not telling you, you've got to tune in to find out. Simo or Bust, the epic four-part series coming to you June 18. Check it out on Channel 10. Looks like you're in a spot of bother there, old mate. Oh, yeah, gunshot, it had me stuck there, I tell you. I was pinned in the seat. I just didn't know how long for. Yeah, well, I wasn't quite sure how we're going to get out of that one either. That's crazy. Do you like my sunroof? Oh. What, what happened? Bro, are you serious? I kid you not. All right, so the plan hasn't exactly gone the way we would have liked. However, with good safety practices in play here, we've avoided a bit of a disaster. Look at this. This is an air dam, and that's done exactly what that is meant to do and designed to do in the event of a failure. Have a go at this. It has been absolutely ripped to shreds, but I'll tell you what, sure beats the alternative, doesn't it? Eh? See, the situations you get into here, let me tell you that the seatbelt's very tight because I'm pinned against it like this. Luckily, the camel crew were able to get down one of the bypass tracks with my cruiser and get a winch onto the front of that rangy. All right, that's gunshot. Yeah. Hey, that's gunshot. That's Whoop. I love it. How was that coming down? That was wicked. That was steep. Really, really steep. I reckon it was. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, whether I was going to go over or not. So steep. All we saw was roof down here. <laughs> well, I wanted to open the sunroof, but it wouldn't open. <laughs> Alrighty, Rick, how you're up? Yeah, baby. Doing? Yeah, really good. Really good now that we've chosen a, a different one after yeah. seeing what happened over there, and I think given the wheelbase of our vehicles. This is a very this smart definitely choice. Definitely a better one. All right, well, good luck, mate. I'll see you either on your roof or on the other side. Hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Might crack a gunshot. Slightly different entry. No less hairy. And in the dark. Whoa! I 
little bit of we came out. Awesome. Fourth. All right, so I made it down in one piece. Only just, I tell you, that happened so, so fast. All right, guys, I have decided to take a completely different route again. Jamie had his recovery gear fail. Rico had his roof rack actually come off. Now I've decided I want to actually get to the tip and I want to get there in this LJ80. So I'm taking the bypass track. It's not all smooth sailing though. There is a deep crossing and quite a few potholes to head down. So let's see how the LJ goes. Let's get to the other side and make sure I can get this girl to the tip. It's worth noting here that this entry isn't actually the bypass track. That runs around 20 k's around the whole creek. This is just one of the less vertical entries. It's still gonna test the little zook out. Alrighty, so we're now getting into the river. Oh. might just get to the tip. <laughs> As promised, my home away from home is all set up ready for me at camp. And after a few hours in gunshot, we are happy to put our feet up and sink a few coldies. If you want to see more of Cape York or Bust, make sure you subscribe. Number four, uh, headlight out. Number five, the roof rack itself. You can hear it playing knock knock up there. Number six, the electrical system is uh, a bit there going and we have to turn things on and disconnect wire every time we stop. Yeah, number seven is the cooling system is struggling. There's probably a few other things as well, Rico, but we're still going forward, mate. We are, mate, she's a beast. Like I said, none of these things are features. They're all designed to keep you awake. <laughs> 